Hey, this is Casey over at Schaefer Chevrolet here in Pin Conning. This is our 2010 Ford F-150 XLT. Um, just want to do a little walk around in this uh, pickup for you today to, to show you what it's all about and the type of condition it's in and uh, give you some information. Um, so for starters, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of pan around the outside of this truck. Uh, it's in our body shop right now uh, getting worked on. They're um, adding a clear coat to it. Um, so it's going to be uh, real nice looking when they get all done with it. So, like I said, first off, I'm just going to walk around the vehicle. As you can see, it's got your, uh, your towing package with your light hook up and hitch receiver. Here's your uh, pickup bed here with the bed liner. Looks in, in good condition. Um, I wouldn't expect uh, the bed area to look any different, really, than uh, than this one does. For you know, being seven years old with a hundred thousand miles, looks looks really good. Got your uh, Firestone tires here on the on the vehicle. Go ahead and uh, kind of climb in the back seat. Um, headliner. On this truck is looking good. Um, I don't see any spots or any stains or rips or any uh, uh, blemishes on the on the headliner here. Um, you're gonna have some cup holders that fold out here in the back seat. You've also got a uh, charging port here, 12 volts for a cell phone or electronic of some type. Um, these uh, this crew cab here, Super Crew, is what Ford calls it, but there's a ton of space back here, a ton of leg room. I mean, this could easily uh, and comfortably fit three, um, three grown people, three adults can easily sit back there comfortably. Um, you can fold this seat up um, one side or the other to have extra storage space underneath if you need. Um, all you gotta do is flip this lever to fold it back down. Uh, it's gonna go the same on the other side as well. Um, if you don't need as much and you still got a couple people riding in the back, so. It's got fixed running boards on this truck. Um, power windows, power locks, um, power mirrors. No power seat, but it does have your uh, manual seat. Um, it's got this uh, bench seat here in the middle, cup holders, fold in and out. Um, if you decide not to have the, the truck there's a little uh, latch over here. And you can fold this middle seat up um, in case you know you want someone to, to sit there. Um, or if not, there's uh, there's more storage space underneath here as well. Um, you can utilize that um, anytime you would need. Um, most of the time you see people, unless they have that extra passenger for the front, have it folded down like this, and then you get more storage space uh, up front um, here as well with two cup holders in the middle, and like I said, another two down here. Um, auxiliary cord uh, input, cigarette lighter, or you know you can use that as a charging port as well. This one has an integrated uh, trailer brake controller. Um, you've got your single zone uh, climate control manual settings. All of your radio uh, stuff there. Got some steering wheel controls here um, for cruise control. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm gonna get in and just start this truck up for you. Comes with the key fob also. So I'm just gonna get in and, and start this truck up so we can have a quick listen. Odometer's at 101,984. It's gonna have the the seat belt light on, a low tire pressure light. I had to check the tires to to uh, fill one of them up, but that's what that exclamation point uh, light is in the middle. There is just that. But other than that, you, no check engine lights or um, any lights of that nature on. Um, here's your uh, four-wheel drive like transfer case shifter here. Just a knob um, You shift it from two to four-wheel high on the fly anytime or if you are 
Um, in neutral, you can shift it into four low um, anytime. So I've also got another 12 volt charging port here that pops out, um, your glove box. Um, other than that though, I'm gonna go ahead and shut her off, but the truck sounds good. I mean, I don't hear any ticking noises or I don't hear um, anything. I mean, everything seems to be running really well with it. So minus actually driving this truck and stuff, uh, everything seems to be definitely on the up and up with it. Um, I looked up some figures for it. This truck actually retails for um, over 20000 Actually, it's $20,150 a truck like this re retails for. Um, our price on it is $14,850. Um, the average market price on it is about uh, almost 4,000 higher. So you, typically a truck like this is gonna be on someone's lot for, you know, 17 to 19,000. Um, really closer to that 19,000 mark. Um, our best price right up front on it, like I said, is 14,850, which is $5,300 below the NADA uh, retail book value. So getting an excellent deal on the truck as well. Um, like I said, just walking around it, looking for any like dents, stinks, scratches, scrapes, things like that. Um, far so good, I mean, everything looks good. Like I said, the body shop's putting uh, some clear coat on it. As I pan around here, everything looks pretty solid. So um, please feel free if you have any questions to reach out to me. Um, I'm here to help and uh, answer any of those questions. Um, but other than that, like I said, uh, my name is Casey. This is our 2010 Ford F-150 XLT. And um, hopefully we can do some business together. So thank you again.